Hello and welcome to my presentation. My name is Abhay Kumar. In this video presentation, I am going to give a demo of continuous integration automation using Eclipse, Git, GitHub and Jenkins. Eclipse is an integrated development environment tool. Git and GitHub are SCM tools, software configuration management tools and Jenkins is a continuous integration tool. I have created six steps in this demo. Create a Java project in Eclipse, configure Git and GitHub in Eclipse, add and commit Java code into Git from Eclipse, push the code into remote GitHub repository, configure Git repository in a Jenkins Jenkins freestyle project, build Jenkins project from Eclipse. Let's start. First, create a Java project. Project name is Git Build Demo. Press next, it will create the folder structure, press finish. Now inside source folder, create a package, finish. Now inside a package, create a class, put a class name, print demo, uh, this is going to be public and public static word main so that I can create some code and uh, let's put some print code, print line code. Put some comment. This is a Jenkins. build demo one save Run. Yes, this is a Jenkins build demo one. This is a Jenkins build demo one. Now save this project into local Git repository. This Eclipse is a 4.6 version. It comes with Git and GitHub default plugins installed. And it also comes with this uh, Jenkins build plugin, default Jenkins build plugin installed, Mylin. Now we, I need to add those windows. First, git, select git repository, then come to the History. History will show me the build history and come to the build window of Mylin. Okay. 
Java project right click team share project create this is the default I'll add one more folder finish now you can see that this is the project name this is the current uh, location of the code from the clips and it will copy into the target local repository finish now you can see this in our local git repository these are the uh, these files and this folder structure has moved into there Get repo here you can see under source we have this is a package this is the class file now let's make a change and the commit this change save to commit right click the project team commit now you have to bring the files which you want to commit in a staging area I want to commit uh, this uh, class Java file only for demo purpose I'll bring it into a staging area I'll put a commit message commit by abhe one commit now I can see this in reference section see commit by abhay one now same thing you can view in history team so in history you can see that commit by abhay one 16 second before now let's move this uh, from local repository into github remote repository so right click on remotes create remote it will come with the default value origin configure push ok before proceed further let's create a new repository in github login into github create a new repository put a name select public create repository and copy the URL of repository by pressing this button copy to clipboard now come back to Eclipse the press change automatically it will copy the URL of the github now it has also input my user ID and password actually this is the saved one if you are doing first time you have to input to input your user ID and password here press finish now I need to choose which trunk of the uh, repository I want to work on so click advanced select master branch add a spec finish now I will say first and I will say how to push into remote repository click origin now this red one do right click and click push now you can see it is pushing from the local git repository to the remote github repository push to git repo origin ok now see there let's see whether it has gone in github repository or not let's come to this git repository github repository click here now this is the file we have got it 
commit by a bhai one. Let's open this. This is a Jenkins build demo two. This is a Jenkins build demo two. So now from Eclipse, I have created a source code, moved into local repository and from local repository I have copied into the remote repository all using Eclipse option. Now let's build this project into in Jenkins. To do so, uh, I, first I need to create a uh, project in Jenkins, I will create a free style project in Jenkins. Let's log into Jenkins. I have already logged in here. So, I will create a project. Click new item. Put a name. Click free style project. Click OK. Now, select here the get is the source code management need to put the input the repository URL. So, I, I need to put the local git repository or whatever the uh, git repository address is you are using. So, this is my copy. That's it. Apply. Save. Back to dashboard. So we have a job, build job created, not executed so far. Last success, last failure. Now let's execute this build job from Eclipse. Press build. No build server. So let's create a build server. Hudson support Jenkins. Press next. I need to input the URL of my CI server. So, just select this anonymous because I have a user ID and password created here. I will give the URL of my Jenkins my user id and password validate here we have the four projects for build jobs out of this git build one the newly created and we can see this also here. Let's select this one git build because we are going to work on that. Press finish. Now see plan not build. Select this since I have selected git build uh, job only. So this has came here. Now select this. Now need to run build and by clicking this button it will execute the job on Jenkins server. Let's click run build. Let's come back here. Now it is executing. It has executed. Let's see the status. See the git build has been job has the git build job has been executed 7.8 seconds before so this is how from eclipse you create a code you save into scm tools git and github and then you use continuous integration server Jenkins to build the project and all you are doing from your uh, 
created development environment eclipse i hope you would have liked this presentation please share your feedback